Good morning. It's Friday, November 17th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Judgments True and Just, and our scriptures Judges chapter 2, and then Revelation chapter 16. After that generation died, another generation grew up who did not acknowledge the Lord or remember the mighty things he had done for Israel. The Israelites did evil in the Lord's sight and served the images of Baal. They abandoned the Lord, the God of their ancestors, who had brought them out of Egypt. They went after other gods, worshipping the gods of the people around them, and they angered the Lord. They abandoned the Lord to serve Baal and the images of Ashtoreth. This made the Lord burn with anger against Israel, so he handed them over to raiders who stole their possessions. He turned them over to their enemies all around, and they were no longer able to resist them. Every time Israel went out to battle, the Lord fought against them, causing them to be defeated just as he had warned, and the people were in great distress. And then Revelation chapter 16. And I heard a voice from the altar saying, Yes, O Lord God the Almighty, your judgments are true and just. The justice system in America is arguably skewed at times, as is every other system created by humankind. A statement attributed to Winston Churchill goes this way, Democracy is the worst form of government ever created, with the exception of every other form of government. With all due respect to the esteemed Mr. Churchill, there is one justice system that is true and just. Its righteousness is never failing. That system, of course, is the judgment of God. Joshua led the nation of Israel to conquer the promised land after Moses' death. They occupied it under the sole leadership of God, a theocracy, until Joshua died. Then a new generation decided that serving Jehovah was outdated and old school. They wanted to be like the other nations and left God in the dust. For Israel, bad became worse. Their strength as a nation disappeared. Their military was never enough. Their infrastructures became compromised. Superstructures and resources were hacked and stolen, and no leader could be trusted. The whole nation was in severe distress. Does that sound familiar? I know it's dangerous to insert America into any prophecy or biblical scenario, but when the shoe fits, it's appropriate to wear it. The trend in our culture is to trust in an idea of America as inherently good and all-powerful. The problem in believing that is we wind up attributing the nature of God to a national identity. America is not, has never been, and will never be God. The identity of a nation consists of the nature and character of the people who make up that nation at any point in time. According to scripture, which has yet to be proven wrong, the character and nature of humans is corrupt, and has been so ever since the Garden of Eden. This is a fallen world, and despite the flag-waving that has most of us rallying around the stars and stripes, fallenness is our heritage, prone to wander, prone to leave the God we love. And, beloved, leave God behind we have, for the pragmatism of bigger stock portfolios, harsher conversations, and a national profile of yell louder to win the argument and we do so at a great cost. For you today, the distress of God's justice rolled down on the heads of those who led Israel after Joshua passed. Now, I'm not a prophet in the sense of being able to foretell the future, but I am a student enough of history and scripture to sense that we are at harvest time, and what we have been sowing we shall certainly reap. Let us be wise and plant seeds of justice, mercy, and walking humbly with our God while we pray it's not too late. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.